inviting Dr. Gupta, who was a member of the Environment Appraisal Committee, she has head of Ministry of Environment, to share his experience. Good evening. Uh, 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 respected panelists and friends. I won't uh, discuss uh, anything about the CRZ rules, regulations, because it's well understood, well told. Uh, 2011 notification is co pretty con comprehensive, and it covers uh, many. It covers many loopholes which were there earlier. But still, uh, in various projects, we find certain pro issues. And in practicality, also certain situations uh, which raises us the uh, practicability of the uh, notification. I'll just take up uh, very few and I'll stop uh, talking on any further. My one issue I felt is uh, noticeable is no untreated sewage, effluent, or solid waste shall be let off or dumped in the coastal waters. A comprehensive plan of treatment of sewage generating from the city must be formulated within a period of one year uh, from the date of issue of this notification, which was, uh, I think, uh, 2011. And uh, notification and the implementation, uh, implementation within two years thereafter. Just um, uh, Dr. Deshmukh uh, talked about uh, the sewage from uh, MCGB is getting into the sea. In anywhere, all around, uh, including Thane Creek to all the West Coast, anywhere you take a sample, the coliform count is lowest above 1,000 and goes up to 10 to the power 7 in the outfalls. The reason, sewage is not treated. Sewage, if it is treated, it is mixed with untreated sewage through a bypass line and then discharged. Or if it is treated, it is called primary treatment. Is it allowed to be discharged into the sea or not? According to this uh, untreated sewage, it is not clarified. What is the treated sewage water quality expected? There are uh, water quality standards for discharge in the seawater also. But who can meet those standards? We, this is not a new subject for uh, Mumbai. For so many MSDB projects have come up and it's continuing for uh, decades. But we could not achieve uh, uh, the desired result. So this is one of the results uh, I find the efficacy of the notification questionable. Regulate activities in the marine and uh, coastal waters such, that, such as dredging, sand mining, discharge of waste uh, from ship, construction like grayons, breakwaters, etc., including uh, reclamation, which have serious impacts on fishing and allied activities. This to be regulated. There is uh, not really technical aspect of this uh, regulation defined, well defined, in my opinion. I do not know whether it is there or not in the notification. But technically, what it means, which is verifiable, ac accountable, challengeable, checkable. Uh, it's uh, missing. So such standards, such uh, orders have, is bound to fail. The development from man-made uh, foreshore activities shall be regulated after identifying and demarcating the coast as a falling in high eroding category. The medium eroding, also high eroding category, the medium eroding category, and the stable category, uh, site strategy categories. 
erosion can be technically checked. It, ne it, it needs money, but uh, it, it is not an unsurmountable problem. So, uh, what erosion rate is subjected to this kind of mandatory uh, coastal, uh, I mean, uh, erosion uh, remedies, erosion remedies is not very clear. Because the categories is high eroding, medium eroding, and stable. High is from what range to what range? I mean, this is to be convinced or enforced to the developer. Beyond which, if you go, if it is there existing, uh, the erosion, then you have to do this. It's not very clearly specified. The law is not very clear. There are bypasses also. You make a road, construct a road, and then anything, the other side of the road, as, uh, one side is the sea, the other side of the road, you can develop. So some road, I, I have, we had projects for, came for um, uh, clearances. In Kerala, the Port Trust there, Cochin Port Trust, or uh, yeah, Cochin Port Trust, I believe, they purchased a land from the, or it, is, it was donated, something like that. Uh, purchased a very nominal price from the municipality. They constructed road, developed it, and developed means only construction of the road initially. Then they constructed 15 to 20 story building, high rise apartments, just on the bridge. On the qualify, the qualifying criteria is there is a road constructed. So this kind of bypasses manipulation, uh, these, these were very um, high, uh, high cost apartments. So facing the sea, was on just like uh, you have in Worli Sea Beach, and all over the <laughs> those are on the shore, they're heavily priced. So these kind of things are happening. Just constructed road, and then you are out of the norm. No notification also allows infrastructural facility for local uh, fishing communities to be. Uh, constructed in CRZ3 area. It is to be checked uh, how, what is the efficacy of this, how much the infrastructural uh, facilities are developed for fishing communities. No development zone uh, redefined in this uh, 2011 uh, notification. Redefined for certain special areas like Mumbai, Goa, Kerala, Sundarban, etc. Certain relaxation were also defined and given. So this is good for the community. Then procedures, reviewing authority, validity of the clearance, time limits for uh, project clearances, etc. were very clearly stipulated in this notification. So this is also Give, give certain kind of amount of accountability for the ministry side uh, so that they have to deliver in time or public and general public can question. And compliance reporting, reviewing and action taken procedures were also stipulated. So these are the things which were provided additionally beyond uh, this 91 <coughs> notification. But again, to make them feasible, ministry or public, they should be they should be on their toes to see that the benefits are delivered to the uh, to the people uh, uh, concerned. There are many other issues. Uh, I would uh, not like. To further discuss, these are the general things. It's okay. I will stop here.